Sam and I have our first round of workshops today, which uh, we've been working really hard towards. It's kind of one of those things where like, today's just the day and we just kind of have to do it. So I'm, I'm pretty chill about it. It should be fun. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the start of a business. So it's not like, I'm not expecting like a full class to show up. In fact, I know that a full class isn't gonna show up because I can see the bookings. You know, it takes time to build things and, and I'm cool with that. I'm just gonna see what today brings and I'm excited about it. And I got this honey oat porridge thing from Coles, not sponsored. It looked kind of gross to be honest with you, but I forgot to have breakfast this morning. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, that kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Morning. I just had Probably the worst porridge of my life. We are at Seven Hills Arts Hub at Backbone. Backbone. We have arrived. <gasps> we made it inside. We got these sick little bleep loops. I was gonna, I was like, should I show these? But you can't get the information off them over the internet. This is the room we're in today though. It's like a little little production studio. Pretty cute. So to keep you updated, today's workshops and the workshops running this weekend and next weekend are like half trial run, half marketing run. So we've given away a bunch of spots for this round just so that we can try and get people in so that we can actually have people that we can shoot marketing material with. And then we can use that to then go to schools and go to organizations and say, hey, you know, we've created this, we've done this, it's gone really well, here's our marketing material, here's evidence that we've done it, and then we can build from there. I, I We don't know if anyone's actually gonna come, uh, so it'll be interesting to say the very least. No one's showed up yet, it's, it's like 10.20, so they should have been here 20 minutes ago. This is what Sam is doing. <laughs> is this your sad boy era? Okay, Sam. Yeah. Sam. Why were you playing sad piano music before? Because there's no one at our workshop <laughs> front. It is 10.30 and there is, there is no one here. I think we're just gonna go off the assumption that May as well just get some stuff done. We're gonna just start working on the, like, the next workshops. To be honest, there's a few things at play here. It's the Echo today. Yeah. Uh, we should mention that. The Echo is like one of the biggest things that like Queensland is just like patriotically go to. Two, we didn't do enough marketing. Mm -hmm. And then three, I think that we needed to get more specific with marketing. And by the next time we run workshops, hopefully we'll have enough of a brand built up. I'm saying that we will. We'll 100% have mm. enough of a brand built up to get things done. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't see this as a failure. It's not a failure. I see this as a stepping stone. We knew that there was probably not gonna be anyone here today, but we were doing all the work under the assumption that people might come, because it, it looks worse for us if people show up and we have nothing prepared. And I think that too, this is just a thing of like, we released a product too early. Yeah. We, we ideally should have waited till September to run these. Yeah. We felt a lot of pressure after securing the venue to perform and to, to actually have something ready. And I think that worked at our detriment, whereas we should have been like, hey, actually we're not, we're not prepared in terms of marketing. So we'll push forward to, to the end of, end of September. We are still, we're still working hard. This is not a setback, it's just a step. That's it's it. Stepping stone. And if anyone shows up, we'll let you know. <laughs> We're gonna pack up and go back to the office now because there's no point in us staying here. <laughs> so bad. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm back at the warehouse. Sam is leaving me. I need to get a little bit of editing done and then I'm gonna go do other stuff, but. Goodbye, Sam. Bye, Frank. We're taking a rest we'll, day tomorrow, uh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. I'll see you Thursday next week. Yes, you shall. See you, Vod. Bye. See you Thursday next week. That's Cheerio. closed. Oh. That was, that really, really ruined my plans. Bye Sam. See ya. So on a completely different, unrelated note, I've, I got access last night to a thing called Dali. And Dali is a, an AI... What is it? What, how do you even say it? Uh, uh, AI... Dali... Dali... Don't you do it. Don't do it! And you think I need a new tripod. Okay, stay. Okay, so Dali 
is, I'm reading from the web website directly, Dali 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. Basically what that means is you can put in any string of words and it'll spit out a, an incredibly realistic looking image. Which is just, it's insane. I've been playing with it for the past like 12 hours and, and I should specify this isn't sponsored or anything, I have no affiliation with them, but I just want to talk about it because it's really cool and, and has massive implications for the future of art. Okay, I'm gonna put up a bunch of images on the screen. Some of them are gonna be real, some of them are gonna be fake, and I want you to write in the comments, in order, which ones you think are real and which ones you think are fake, okay? I'm gonna show you the images next. And now I can tell you that all of those were AI generated and none of them were real. How absolutely insane is that? It blows my mind how good this program is at creating realistic looking images. I've, I did a poll on Instagram today with the same images and got, got people to tell me whether they thought they were real or fake. Most of them, people, like 70% of people thought they were real. Which is just, it just blows my mind. I don't actually have a point to this. We talked about it quite a bit in Sam's vlog. I'll put a little piece of that in here from yesterday. Uh, what interests me most is seeing like, at what point are we gonna have to differentiate what's real and what's between, not? Between like, yeah, a, a, an award-winning AI photo. Cause it's still, photo this is still photography. Uh -huh. We're still creating images. Cause you know, we don't create the landscape either that we take photos no. of. Mm. We just capture it. And this is the same, like we're capturing it, but in a, in a yeah. different way. We're I just using words. I'll link that vlog here if you want to go watch it. But I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. It's really, really cool and, and it has massive implications for the future of art, photography and, and design. And I, I'm, it's a little bit scary, but it's also very exciting. Now I don't want to sit here and, and lie to you and be like, no one coming to the workshops is, is awesome and is great for the business, is, is an awesome stepping stone for us. Obviously, it sucks, and obviously it would have been much nicer for us if people actually came to the workshops. Me as a person, my philosophies in life is, is very much around finding the positives and finding the silver lining in things, and, and the silver lining of this is that we get more time to market, we get more time to improve the workshops themselves, and we get to work harder to make the next round even better. And we still have the writing workshop that starts next weekend. But I just want to make it really clear that I'm not all sunshine and rainbows about this. I'm not like, I'm not happy about it. And I think it's really easy to get that impression from how I approach life in that I, I think everything's great. It's important to acknowledge, or I find it important to acknowledge your emotions around a certain subject, particularly something that I care about and am so invested in as our business. I just wanted to add that in as a little addendum to what I was saying before, because I was worried that I came across to happy chappy about everything, but that's that's it. Um, I'm waiting for Hannah to come, because we're gonna go to an art show tonight, which should be lovely. It's curated by Sophie, who I don't know if she's been in the vlog yet, but she'll be in it tonight, so we'll see. Hi, Hannah. Hi. <laughs> this is the place. It's <laughs> alone. No. I'm Sophie Delaney, I'm the curator of Postdatum. I'm a practicing visual artist. I primarily focus on different theories and philosophies. Um, that's where my practice stands right now. Yeah, so this is a show that I curated and happy to be here. And it's sick, by the way. It's yes, super cool. And I'm happy for it come. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and your art is so, awesome. I love you. it. What'd you get? Burger. Burger. I got two slices of pizza. This is a damn good burger. Yeah, they're good, right? Oh my god. Everything's better when you're hungry though. This is true. Okay, that's it. I'm ending the vlog here. Say bye, Hannah. Bye, everyone. Nice to see you. Not that I did, but <laughs> nice to see you. There you go. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>